So I'm going to show you some of the creations I have done since doing the resin. Okay, so that's ready for someone to wear. Okay. This. Those are flowers in there. You can see that. Those are some of my first attempts. Here is one that is chamber inspired. See the palm trees? Those palm trees right there are the logo for our chamber that I work for. I'm the director of membership. Making jewelry is my therapy. <laughs> that sounds so bad. And if you really saw how much I had, you'd laugh. <laughs> That's the back. Um, I tried to do, um, this is when I first started experimenting with purple. I tried to do purple, um, green, and blue. And I didn't really like how that was turning out. I added a little yellow in there too. wanted a little rainbow. Here's another chamber inspired one. You can see how it's see-through. I hope the light's okay. Oh, yeah, I see sparkles. There's sparkles in there. Sparkles. Sparkles make me happy. Here's one of my first geodes. It's green. It's multi, multi metal colors. Um, I, I really like doing the mixed metals. You see here. I also have the mixed metals dropped inside as well. So I like that. This one right here. Um, this is when I was first learning how to do this. This is one of my first pours. I don't know if you can see, but the finish on this is not as sheen as it should be. It's a perfect imperfection. <laughs> this is actually created for somebody in mind who does not know yet. Um, I told her I made her one, but we haven't seen each other in a while. So I have this one. This is when I was trying to perfect purple. This one I liked a lot. Okay, this, let's see. I don't know if you really can see all the, the 3D in it. It's like really cool. I, it would be cool if you could see it. I don't know if you can. Maybe a little. Anyway, this copper will help with grounding. Okay, again, me trying purple. You can see the purple. Isn't that pretty? That's, of course, you can ready, ready to wear. This one. Yeah. So you can wear these on a choker. You can wear them, um, some of the heavier ones like these, you can wear on a long one. I happen to wear all of them on a very short one right around my neck. Just because it's comfortable for me there. I do have to make sure though that it's not too big of a piece or too many swirls in the wrong places. So I actually placed them in a uh, with I mindfulness because if I do it wrong when I sit on the seatbelt because I like where I like to hang it all the little swirlies will get stuck in my seatbelt so I have to be mindful <laughs> one of my little things it's a trick <laughs> I like that one a lot then there's this one this one I really like looks like an eye look how cool that is that's me experimenting again with the purples and black. This was my attempt with purple and black because I was trying really hard to get some purple. I poured another layer of resin over the top of that because I didn't like it. It wasn't thick enough. So that's got copper dropped in it too. And that's alcohol ink. I think that's alcohol ink. This is um, alcohol ink and um, this white is a powder that you add. It's like a pigment. Okay. This one's kind of cool. I'm not really crazy about gold, but I actually like this one. 
that would serve for your yellow chakra, which is your sacral chakra, which is your gut feeling and and just your digestion. <laughs> if you have a problem with digestion, that's a good one to have. This. This is per, uh, blue. This is the indigo blue. So this is the third eye. That helps with your intuition and trusting, trusting yourself. Here's one, I beautiful accident. I haven't finished, but I found the backing for it to sit on and it fits perfect. So that's kind of neat. I'm still trying to figure out how to not get those drops because I'm, I'm not really crazy about those drops. So um, I'll be visiting that. This one, we added a little sparkle to it. I like this one. This was an attempt to make purple and you can see how there's so much blue. And here's another attempt to make purple. I mean, it's so purple on the other side, it's not even funny, but look how blue it is. Crazy, right? Yes. This was an overspill from the one next to it, but I think it looks kind of cool. Then there's this one. I put pieces of nail foil um, that's little thin pieces of like aluminum foil, but it's thin enough for you to kind of paint on the tops of nails. So I use some of that inside. I know I have a lot of supplies, a lot of different things I, I've done over the years, so I have lots of things I can use. Um, you can see this was supposed to be all purple. I got a little carried away because I was getting mad. I wanted purple. All of it. I thought it was going to be purple. It all turned blue except for the glitter. <laughs> But I kind of like it. I did a little wire wrapping on there that you can see. I'm pretty proud of. Okay. Another one of the pores. Isn't that cool? It's so hard for you to see it, really. Okay, then I've got more, even. Here is one of the first ones I tried. I made a necklace. It's actually, it's actually a gear. Isn't that neat? That's a gear and I, I did this whole ensemble to incorporate it. So this is a necklace I made out of it. One of my completed pieces. Pretty neat, right? Haven't worn that yet, I don't think I have. I don't know. I do not know, we'll move these out of the way. And there's these. I know this is a long video, but so I think it's interesting. <laughs> of course I would, right? Okay, but look at the wire wrapping. What do you think? I like it, look at <laughs> one little speckle of glitter just right there square. Can you see it? Yeah, right there. <laughs> this one was a cool accident too. That's like powder. I think it's like pearly powder. I don't really know. That was an accident. Kind of like my hair color. It was a happy accident. Okay. Look, blue. Okay, again, that was supposed to be all purple. And obviously you could see it's not. It's blue. I'm confused, it confuses me, see? Look, that was supposed to be purple, all purple. I know, kind of weird, right? Here's one, flowers, there was a hole in this one because I used ink. I used an acrylic ink instead of an alcohol ink and it like splotted and stayed right in the center. You can't really tell. And I put these flowers there and I, I put the epoxy over the top of that, the resin over the top of that. It's not perfect, but it's one of my first pieces. And again, perfect imperfections. <laughs> I figure it's a, a part of who I am and a part of a phase I was at, right? This one. Wasn't sure what to do. This was a little bit small, wasn't? But I actually really like how this turned out. I even like the weird color that's on this side. I don't, silver, green, yellow color I don't know 
orange. I like that one. That was the same batch, but look, I got a little more creative. And, uh, pa-bam, added sparkles. And I have more. Again, this is one of my first ones. Okay. One of my first ones. I like this one. I really like the colors on this one. Isn't that pretty? So these are finished, or pendants anyway. I could probably put them in a set. But I figured I'd wrap them, and if I felt inspired, I would, but I'm kind of making a bunch of pieces, and I like it. I am supposed to be having a show soon. Again, another chamber inspired one. These make me happy. Uh, you will often find these in the auctions. Okay, you can see all the colors in that. Um, you can find these in the auctions. A lot of the time, Buy Shea Rizzle will donate them to the auction for the raffle. That's a P. I really like this one. And that's white on one side because that was like a powder color I used and I used the blue and I poured it on top it did do nothing so it still looks good and there's this one I like this one I've worn this one I like the the color combination I, I think I did pretty good on working with the blobs that are in there and there's purple in there too and copper alcohol ink here is another chamber inspired heavy duty one you can wear this on a long chain or a choker this one I wear on a long chain just because it's so bulky I don't really like it on a I made it big you can actually use ribbon you can use thin scarves um, you can use anything to tie around I've oftentimes made them big so that uh, I can fit scarves this. oops this was an accident. This was one, I really liked the green on this side, but that's actually the wrong side. It's supposed to be that side. And there was a hole here for the little uh, thing to go through, but I really liked this, so I wanted to showcase that. I like those greens. And I still got more to pour. Until next time. Bye, Shea Rizzo. Until next time. Oh, wait. Thanks. And until next time. Bye, Shay Rizzo.